Hey folks, Wayne Golding here from Access Direct, and today I am going to demonstrate deploying a web app on a Windows server and using IIS to reverse proxy that app. And we're also going to offload SSL security and resources. So let's get into it and see how we go. Okay, this is my project that I'll be using to demonstrate. It's a very simple project, two uh, links and a movie player. If we have a look at the URL that we're going to use, all of the URLs begin with the slash, which means that they are local to the website. Okay, now I've already built this application. So I can simply copy the folder and I will connect to my intranet server through remote desktop services. And in program files to install it, I simply need to paste the folder into the program files folder. And now I have my application installed. I'm just gonna copy this path and we're gonna create a service to run the, the app let's see create service name bin path and we want to paste copy this paste it and we want to copy this part here again and paste it all right, so that's the path to the executable file, and I'm going to set it up to start automatically. Once the service is created, we can start it. And we can query it to see that it is actually running. Okay, so it's running. So we can now just check everything out, make sure it is by going to localhost and the port that we built specified for the build which is 9000 in this case and we can see that the application is running no movies or anything yet but that's fine next we want to create our website so in ios manager i want to add a website and we're going to call it demo.accessdirect.local which is the uh, host we're going to use and we're going to put that into the host name as well. And we're going to create a physical folder for it to live in. So that's inetpub root. I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to use the fully qualified domain name or the host name here as well. And our website is created. Now we need to set up a routing rule to tell IIS to send all of the request information to our application web app and that's simply on localhost port 9000 again I mean you can see here that we've got enable SSL offloading ticked which means that if we would create a certificate we could add it to the site and IIS would take care of the encryption and decryption of the client's traffic and simply pass on HTTP to our application, our web app. Okay, so having got this far, we now need to make it possible for the browser to find the host, which means we need to add a record to our domain name DNS server. So I'm gonna click over to our domain controller and I'm in the DNS manager and I'm gonna create a new CNAME record which is just going to be demo You see the uh, FQDN has been created and we can browse to find the server that we want to host this on, which is my intranet web server. So that browsers should now be able to find that. So let's just double check that we can. We'll go to our browser and I'll click on the reverse proxy link here. And here we go. There's the site up and running and available to our network. But we still don't have the movie. So now we're gonna offload those resources. Back to my intranet web server. I have here conveniently on my desktop, 
the resources that we need. So I'm just going to cut that and I'm going to paste it into the website. Okay, so within that resources folder, I have three more folders. We have documents, which has a PDF file in it. We have downloads, which has a 729 megabyte file to download. And we have media with a movie in it. Okay, so now we need to tell IIS to serve those files. And we're going to do that by adding a rule. This time it's going to be a blank rule. Uh, we'll give it a name. Call it resources. The pattern is resources. Now action is none. And we're going to stop processing after this rule. So what that's doing is saying, don't do anything. If, you, if this matches, just do nothing. Let, let IIS handle it. Now, of course, that needs to come before our reverse proxy rule. So let's move this one down. Okay, that should be it. Let's have a look, see. So from everyone here at Zoho, and here we go. thanks for being a part of our community. Happy holidays. Happy New Year, Feliz Año Nuevo. Happy Christmas. May the force be with you. See you at XDC. Stay safe and healthy. See you in 2021. So our web app simply initiated the playing of the movie. The movie was served by IIS. Same thing happens if I click on the introduction. Here we have, we've opened a new browser tab and there's our PDF file rendered for us. If I hit the download button, remember this is a 729 megabyte file. I wonder how that's going to impact Zojo. Well, the answer is not at all because IIS is downloading the file. So we can play our movie. So from everyone here at Zojo, Thanks for being a part of our community. Happy holidays. So you can see we can do all, we can offload the web server -y stuff to the web server and leave our appy apps handling the appy stuff. And that is my demo today. Bye folks. <laughs>